A, learn to shoot, right? B, crouch. And then if you do hit them, you get the sneak damage. Oh my gosh, really? You're going to hurt to hit the rock. Yeah, I probably didn't get it there. Right, I can do that, guys. But as soon as sneak mode goes, oh no. Hey, friends. Welcome back. S'more here bringing you some more Seven Days to Die. And for a little bit of a change of pace, I thought I'd bring us a How to Survive Your First Night. I know a lot of different channels are doing this, but for you guys that are just joining the community for uh, PS4 and I believe a little bit later on Xbox One, um, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's not terribly difficult. Uh, these are all default settings. Just going to fix a few of them here. I'm not quite sure what you're going to default uh, for your 24-hour time on the consoles, but feel free, especially if this is your first time, Feel free to bump this up to even 120, um, and the rest of this should be pretty much default. Uh, to make it easier on yourself, uh, your 120 minutes, your uh, enemy spawns lower, and then your loot abundance 200% is all going to give you a, a big help. Okay, um, let's see. We want to whoop, cancel. New game, guys. All right, so I'm gonna do random gen. Uh, we're going to say how to survive. New seed for me, guys. We'll double check. Make sure everything is default. All right. Should be good. And uh, we'll just keep this single player for now. Whoa. Really? Oh. Well, all right, then. All right. Let's get started. Um, yeah, it should be good. All right. So uh, I know nothing about what we're going to spawn into. Uh, but I've been playing this game since Alpha 6. I've got almost 1,500 hours logged in on Steam. Uh, I do have my own channel. Uh, you obviously found it if you're watching this. Uh, I hope this helps you. Um, and if you are watching this to learn how to play, then uh, you know, thank you very much. So on your first day, you've got a little bit of time. Okay. Uh, so the game will give you a very simple quest line right off the bat. Um... You're going to need a number of plant fiber, right? So you just start swinging. You don't even need to worry about the golden the uh, the golden flowers or these white flowers. Those are goldenrod and cotton, respectively. You don't even need to worry about that. You just punch the plant fibers, right? After that, you're going to gather some rocks. Because the very first thing it's going to have you make is a small stone axe, and as you can hear as I am uh, gathering these things, the game will give me an audio cue. So from here we can do a few different things. We can find these uh, slightly larger bushes and we can punch them, and that will give us some wood. The stick looking bushes will give us wood too, and even the trees will too, but what I just did is probably going to be the fastest way to do that. All right. Um, Day one is basically get yourself established, get hidden for the night, and just spam craft tooling to get yourself as much of a head start as possible. So you can see I've already got all those plant fibers. Uh, we're going to, let's see, uh, pants. And you guys will get to the point where this is just kind of second nature. Come on. Excellent. While we're waiting for that, right, we're just going to keep grabbing some more of this. The wood, the stones, and the grass. Those are going to be your go-to. Those are your bread and butter for the first few days, unless you get lucky and you find something a little bit better. So while I'm waiting for all those things to craft, I will be looking for what I like to call a resource boulder. A resource boulder are not these big ones here, but these smaller ones. These guys break apart faster. And they will also give you a little bit of scrap uh, iron. As you're hacking them down. All right, let's go ahead. And you can see how quickly these things jumped up in quality, as denoted by that small white number right there. Oh, just kidding. Misclick. Probably don't even need the hood out here. We're probably warm enough, but we'll do that to complete the quest. And I think I can recall what most of the other quests are. Ooh, okay, so we're going to need some wood. No big deal. We take our very, very not good stone hatchet. We're going to burn right through this guy. And we will be making more. So we gathered some wood just by whacking on the tree there. 
And let's make that... Oh, just kidding. While we're here, and that's crafting, you just want to continue harvesting resources, guys. If you're harvesting resources in early game like this, you cannot go wrong. So as you can see, we've already got quite a few of the prereqs for this quest done already. Again, we've been harvesting like crazy. Uh, feathers. Now, feathers are going to be found in two different places. They're going to be found in nests on the ground, which look like a little derpy unity asset. Little ground donuts, as it were. Oh, hi, pig. We'll get you later. Um, they're pretty small, though, compared to the grass, so you're going to want to run around and keep your eyes open. Uh, let's see. Ooh, some garbage. If you do come across any... Oh, there we go. Here's a nest, too. Perfect. 21 feathers with 100% loot is not bad at all. And then if you find these things, loot them. Boy, for your first week, these things are invaluable. All right, so we have this. We have our wood. We have our plant fibers. And we can make ourselves a bow. We're going to do that. And then we also want to make some arrows. And right now, we're just doing the bare minimum to get through this, so that way you guys can see you know, how to get it done quickly. Um, and then we can take off. And you're going to want to kind of do it in your starting area. The zombies won't actually spawn if you don't go too far away from where you spawn in. All right, so let's make, uh, let's see, wood frames. Let's... And again, since I am crafting something, I should also be doing something in real time, too. You're going to want those eggs, too. All right, let's get these placed. And it doesn't really matter, right? Because you're just satisfying the quest. Oh, upgrade them. Okay. On the PC, it's right-click. I'm not sure what it's going to be on the consoles. I'm sure uh, you beautiful, intelligent folks can figure that out. Again, back to the resource harvesting. And federal, we should have... Boom. Done. Headshot. Next song. Next. Another thing to keep in mind too, guys, is uh, I should have finished off the first tree we started beating on. As we finish this tree off, watch the wood count uh, from 6 to 107, which means that last chop gave us 101 wood pieces. Boom. Throw that up there. Now, I didn't intentionally build this little L shape, but it does afford a little bit of behavior from crawlers and dogs. Incidentally. Twas accident. Oh, campfire. All right. We can do that, guys. Just eight stones. And because we've been resource collecting this whole time, we have those. And, guys, I think that's it. Boom. Done. Great work, guys. And we earned a skill point. Not that it will be fantastically applicable to this episode, but, you know, better to have it than to not. So right away, guys, these things that we crafted, not worth the space they're taking up, right? So right off the bat, guys, the name of the game, spamming these stone axes. And that's really important because the your bread and butter, how well you're going to survive, is going to directly relate to how quickly you can get your resources going and that is directly related to uh your tool skill so like right off the bat we got lucky we found a road find a road guys gives you pretty good visibility going both ways don't need that it's just a cotton seed and there's cotton everywhere just takes up a slot we are gonna go hit this car up and we sh will be starting to get some some zombie spawns in now unfortunately the loot's not being real kind to us but that's all right we will persevere so guys, you're going to want to explore, and those aren't great, but they're food, so we'll take them. And you guys can see how quickly we went from 1 to 10, right? Almost no time at all. And we we're really limited on stones. So we're going to take the time. And you can do this with your fist, too. Um, using different tools will upgrade different skills, or raise your different skills. Going to want these. Again, those nests... Okay, that's excellent. And that might be one right there, maybe. And with two arrows, we're not going to get real far. 
In fact, with three arrows, we are not going to get real far, right? We may have jumped the gun, leaving our protected little area, but that's okay. I got a little excited. I apologize, guys. Let's real quick. Where's the resource boulder at? Where did that thing go? You gotta keep an eye out for these. They're gonna be hard to find. Where the hell did that thing go? Well, if you don't have the resource boulder handy, which is a little disappointing, they should be, oh, hello dear, they should be everywhere. Uh, you can also beat on these things, it's much slower. Yeah, that's too slow. We need to keep moving, guys, it's day one. Ain't nobody got time for that slowness. I do want that. Here we go. All right. Much better, guys. And in fact, I wasn't real crazy about the direction that that other road was going. We'll head this way. That's all right. We're going to turn that slight misstep of mine, leaving too early. We're going to turn that into a positive. We're going to go the other way. And on day one, that's, that's kind of what you got to do, guys. Now, we have a while um, to find another place to live. You're going to want as many of these as you can get a hold of, right? And a good 40 or 50 is not a bad start, guys. And then also keep in mind, too, crafting on your character and then doing something, whether it's digging clay, which is probably the most economical, really, the most efficient, or chopping down trees or mining. If you can be crafting something which gives you XP and then using a skill which gives you XP, you're winning. Uh, the zombies don't really give you that much XP, at least they don't on PC, and so while that's great... Um, not a huge source of income. Um, not a huge source of income experience-wise. Excuse me. So this thing's about gone. Cancel that. Boom. Awesome. And it's already level 12. Let's finish harvesting this up. And again, the just like an Elder Scrolls game, and the pimps love Elder Scrolls games. Let me tell you what. Um, if you have a question about a game mechanic, and if you consider maybe how Oblivion and Mor Morrowind worked, that's probably how this game winds up working, too. There's a lot of similarities. Uh, but basically, the more stamina you have, the better you're going to be doing your skill. The better uh, condition your tool, the better you're going to be doing the skill. And like I said, guys, let's find a road. And while you're running through these grassy plains... Just keep chopping for now. Because you're going to get to the point where you are safe at night. And believe me, guys, I'm going to help you get there. And you're going to want a bunch of stone and wood and plant fibers so you can be spam crafting your uh, stone axe to death. Also, guys, when you see this, this right here, guys, this is coal. This is a great find early on. There's a sister kind of product, um, potassium nitrate, that has the same texture. It's just uh, white, basically the white and the black and the texture are flipped. Um, it's very apparent that it's potassium nitrate. If you guys can uh, find a decent load of each of these, hey, you've started making gunpowder. And that's another sweet way to get that um, very, very efficient XP. So we won't finish all of this, um, but I did want to show it. All right, let's see. So how are we doing for hunger and thirst? Oh, they're not too terrible yet. I don't even start worrying about them until I get to 50%, guys. Okay, so we've got our arrows. We don't have a bow. Let's fix that right quick fast. All right, guys. So this has been a lot of macro play. These are things you're always going to want to keep in mind until you get comfortable. And you want to make sure that first aid bandage is real close. Because when you get a bleed effect on you, you're not going to have a lot of time. Um, how, 27, huh? Let's use half of it. And of that, we should end up with a pretty decent um, hatchet. A stone axe, as we were. So let's keep looting, guys. Um, cars are fantastic loot sources. I know it hasn't appeared like it. They are. They normally are. They're supposed to be. And then let's just let's just keep moving. Um, the plants biomes not bad. The forest biomes are are uh, pretty forgiving. And then you'll occasionally come across these paths, and these paths should lead to something. Nominally, they do. 
Or just, oh, this one probably leads to a water hole. You can even see it down there. However, you've got this big water supply right here, guys. And if you set up shop next to a large water supply, that's a pretty good win, too. The last thing you want to do is take the time to build a huge base and not have it at least somewhat located near the water. You can always load up with... Oh, holy cow, guys. That right there is a huge win. So 521 out of 600 quality. It's an iron fire axe. That's fantastic, guys. All these things we can get rid of. It's just in the way. Ain't nobody got time for these. And that fire axe, guys, is a huge find. Holy cow. Um, probably not going to get that lucky that early on, guys. But like I was saying, cars. Take the time to search them. Um, auger blade's nice. You won't really need the glass panes. Now, if you are really, really interested, um, what you could do, guys, is just right away find out where zero zero is. Oh, we are a ways, right? So we gotta go north a bit. A bit. Holy cow. Right, and then we gotta go west. That's pretty close. So that right there, Hub City should be right around there, right? Which is that way. In fact, guys, let's go and let's head that way. Let's, uh, as the crow flies, head that way. We have our ammo loaded. Don't forget to load that up. Just because you make it doesn't mean you will automatically have it selected. Make sure as you see those, see those birds' nests, make sure you loot those, all right? All right, so from here, guys, I'm hoping that we find some sort of cool POI. We continue to find some more good loot. That fire axe is just ridiculous. Um, that's so lucky, guys. We won't even really use it in the episode. Like I'll show you how to show you how fast um, it works, but the odds of you finding a tool like that first game, first day in the game, that's not very high. Oh, hello. All right, guys. I hear quite a few of them. Do I see something right here? Another oh, shadow. So, guys, we have several on us, and that's okay. Rule number one, guys, cardio. <laughs> In fact, it's amazing how much that game actually applies. Or that uh, that movie, Zombieland, actually applies. Them headshots are really important, guys. And she's supposed to fall down, and she didn't. And that was a ridiculous amount of ammo on her. So you'll notice I'm spinning in circles, right? You're going to do those crazy Ivans. You need to make sure that you are always watching your flanks. Your arrows are going to arc, but if you can get a pretty good shot on them, you'll knock them down, and they'll buy you some time. Okay, and the wooden bow is going to take some time to get used to. That's all right. Um, if you wanted to, you could hack those guys apart for bones and rotting meat, but we don't need those things right now, so we're going to keep moving. So they did drop an extra jar. We're going to fill it here. Now, we, we could drink it now, but there's a pretty high chance we would get sick, and so we're going to hold on to it for now. Let's see what time we got. Oh, my gosh. It's already 2.30, guys. Um, and it looks like we'd have to go across the water. Well, maybe, maybe not. Let's keep heading that way, and let's see what it looks like. This um, shorefront may push us back into the destroyed building zone, and you don't need to be going in there on day one. If you start in... Ooh, I heard that. Haha. -ha. If you start in the destroyed building zone, make your way out of it. If you start in the snow zone, make your way out of it. If you start in the desert zone, make your way out of it. Yeah, guys, we're looking pretty wet here. Um, so we will continue to head the other way. Um, there she is. Again, I don't want to take you through the destroyed building zone. It's not going to help you. A, learn to shoot, right? B, crouch. And then if you do hit them, you get the sneak damage. Oh my gosh, really? You're going to hurt to hit the rock. Yeah, I probably didn't get it there. Right, I can do that, guys. But as soon as sneak mode goes, oh no. There was a bag of trash. Yeah? Somewhere? Yes, I thought. I saw. Oh, probably just imagining it. All right. Let's keep moving, guys. So, as we start to get a little bit later on in the day, we need to start thinking about what we're going to do for food and what we're going to do for shelter. Um, 
Let's get a little bit further along, just do a little bit more exploration, and we will figure that out. <sighs> so we're getting a little hot, which means we can actually take off our fiber hood. In fact, we can scrap it, and then we can manufacture a plant fiber hat, and this will give us negative 5 degrees insulation, which will help combat how hot we were getting. So as I'm running around, keeping my eyes open for a nest, and I'm probably missing a whole bunch of them, guys, so don't sound off in the comments about those. Please feel free to comment, just not about that, you know. Um, Road's on the right. And we're just taking a nice, lovely stroll. Not too densely infested. You know, it's nice about the medium spawns. No POIs either. If you guys get lucky enough to stumble across an abandoned house, those make great first night shacks. If we do stumble across one, I'll show you how to fortify those. So I do see that zombie to our left. There's burnt out cars I'm not too worried about. But this intact car here, we want to hit up for sure. I don't really need that. Now, we can hear them just marching all around us, right? If we're real quiet, we can hear their little footsteps. Paper and uh, the duct tape. The duct tape's pretty good. So that guy will pick us up, and hopefully nothing picked us up from behind. Eh, the hubcap's all right. Not, uh terribly important. So we have this one here. We have the one to the left. We're going to check our back. Nothing that I see yet. Oops. Here, let's not lose track of that guy. Let's also... Ooh, I was going to say, if we could send an arrow her way, we can keep her back, too. Run up, get that extra uh, headshot bonus damage when they're stunned, too. I think I hear one more. Oof, I hear that I can't shoot. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we got lucky. We found a bit of food. So, like, we'll probably be okay through the night. At night's a great time to eat those uh, sham sandwiches. You're probably going to get a debuff that causes um, stamina drain, but that's okay. At night, you're going to be tucked away somewhere. Not that big of a deal. A bullet casing's no big deal. So guys, we're getting nigh on 5 o'clock here. We didn't find a building, which is okay. In fact, it's almost better that way because if you find a building, you can fortify it uh, by gathering a ton of wood, reinforcing the walls, putting a door in, and making a ladder to enter and exit your building up the side. Right? That's, uh, that's a perfect, legitimate strategy. It's a great one. Um, stick to it. Now, the road forks here, which means I... Bet we got a town nearby, so we're going to kind of split the difference between the two roads here, between the fork. And hopefully we stumble upon something. There was a zombie to the right, but we're down to 28, 29 arrows. And I feel like conserving them. You can even see the sky is starting to change a little bit. You can see that even without looking at it right behind you, right? Well, it looks like we've kind of picked a path, so we're going to stay committed to it. And it's really flat here, which means if we get lucky, we might get a big prefab. Ah, it doesn't look like it. You know, and I've got the view distance cranked up to max, but we do have a little something over there, guys. That's where we're staying the night. All right. So, first off, since it's not a burnt-out house, and even then, sometimes those are too... You can expect it to be spawned in. Um, we don't have enough arrows, but that's okay because we have the ability to make a... A melee weapon, which is excellent. Make sure none are behind us. Alright guys, so we will... Uh, we're at least going to weaken them with an arrow first because we're just such low level. We're not dealing much damage. A little twitchy McGee here. Ah, 
uh, he recovered too quickly to... There we go. We got one behind us, too. I could hear him sneaking up on us. This guy over here. And we're uh, clearing this area out because if you can kill enough of them in one area, you will actually preclude them from despawning for a couple days. These little twitchy guys are some of my least favorite. That's a pretty good shot. And I don't really need that just to have it to mash R. And you can hear them taking out some of the walls to that place. That's okay. Oof. That's not okay. Oh my gosh. Oh man. There's a great example of what not to do. How to not take... 50 arrows to kill one zombie. Alright, let's see. Kind of 14 arrows, huh? That's okay. We can do something about that, guys. That's not the end of the world. I mean, the end of the world's already happened. Well, hello. No crawlers at the foot. I'm a little... I want to kind of clear the outside. And you want to keep off the building a little bit. Because they'll get stuck on the porches, right? But they'll go th right through that railing. Right? And that guy is going to come out of the wall right there. No bueno, I tell you. And while you're focusing on killing these two, one will sneak up on you from behind. You leave those cabinets alone, they could have food in them. Okay, we'll have her get back up. There we go, guys. We're gonna do one quick victory lap around, right? All right, looking good, guys. Again, not gonna worry too much about that purple axe that we found. Just kidding. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to do, we need some uh, frames, right? And we're going to need, oops, so we're going to need, um, 20 is a great number to start with, that's 200 wood, right? 10 each? Oh, apparently 5 each. Excellent, okay. And while that's happening guys, again, while you're doing any kind of large scale crafting, get your butt out there, especially during daylight, get yourself some more wood. Uh, you want to, and again, you want to try and finish off the whole tree so you get that bonus um, at the end. As Mad Mole would say, it pays to be a finisher. We have everything that can hold water filled up for the night. We didn't uh, uncover any cans. That would have helped a lot. Or empty cans, excuse me. We did discover some cans of food. And that's what we'll eat through the night if we um, run out of sandwiches. Okay. Okay. Ooh, very nice. So... I hope you guys see the pattern of get yourself established, explore, always be gathering. Um, no one else? No one else. All right. Um, we have a resource boulder nearby. It would be great to knock one of those down. Oh, yep, right here. Awesome. About 8 o'clock, guys, we will head in for the night. We, we, we will retire, and as it gets really dark, I will turn the gamma up, but just be aware that unless you are also doing that, it will be quite a bit darker for you. All right, how these... Looks like we're done building frames, so that's good. Let's do uh, axes. And so we're probably limited by stone there, and that's okay. Um, we're going to gather a whole bunch here, um, and I just... Uh, started crafting the maximum amount of axes knowing that my inventory is going to fill up anyways and then it will stop but we should have a better axe here to work with pretty soon only got 10 more minutes before we head in and there's not a magical you know reason why at 8 o'clock um, it's uh, I think it's just a, a good time to, to duck in We'll see if we can't finish this last step here. This last um, 
downgrade path, if you will, as opposed to an upgrade path as you beat the rocks apart, right? So we'll get through this 47 condition. We'll head inside. We'll show you what to do to fortify. All right. Come on, buddy. Let's get back inside. So the first thing you're going to want to do is avoid building a door. And we do that because uh, the zombies will actually target the doors. You don't want that. Go ahead and take it to the second tier. Don't worry about scrap metal for now. The thing is, guys, is we're going to avoid detection tonight. That is the name of the game, is not getting sensed. So your smelly foods, keep those bagged up. If you down a deer or get a get lucky and get a stew or something, uh, keep those bagged up. These actually will upgrade okay. And as we do this too, it also cuts off the zombies line of sight because um, that's actually how they'll see you. First they'll smell you and if they don't smell you, they'll actually see a light source or they'll just see you. So if you're inside keeping quiet and you're not smelly and you don't have any holes in your base, like that is most of winning right there. And we're going to take it one step further. All right, guys, already leveled up. That's a, a big one right there too. <laughs> All right, almost done here. So this should make this what I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to use the word airtight here, right? There's no way for them to see us, okay? And that won't count up there. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make, well, actually, we're going to loot this place up real quick. Okay, though, not that we have a whole bunch of room. Wow, guys, that cooking pot is a huge find, and I'll show you why here in a little bit. you notice I still have some raw resources left to do some span crafting. This guy's can scrap down. Let's see what else. Don't need that. Wear that. And all, all these things that I'm doing, guys, they help keep the inventory nice and clean. Give you maximum opportunity. Now, all this looting does make a noise. So you're going to want to make sure that you do this when you are not surrounded by zombies. Hopefully, you console players will get a dedicated button to pitch stuff out. Us PC players do not yet. We had Q at one point, but they took that away. Okay, okay, okay. Might have something smelly in here. Oh. If you do, it's not bad. You just eat it out of the container. Oh, some Dukes, guys. So eventually, these will be used for um, uh, currency. This is also a huge find, but holy cow, guys. The sniper rifle schematic and the blue quality axe, that is ridiculous. Probably some, okay, I was about to say, probably some anti, uh, or some, um, oh, the cure for the zombie plague in there. The, uh, I want to call them antacid, but that's obviously not what they are. So, guys, from here, we want to nerd pillar jump, call it whatever you would like to, up here, and we want to make a little bit of an area for ourselves. Um, yeah, guys, go ahead and take this out. Here's the thing. It's going to give you a little bit of wood back. Not that that's a huge deal or anything. Pick these up behind you, right? If you can't pick up that last one, that's okay. Not the end of the world. Give yourself some room. Ah, uh, yes, guys. So if you've gotten this far, congratulations. You have survived your very first day. It's a big deal. You are pretty safe up here. Nothing's going to come get you. They might take the wall down, but they'd have to be beating on the wall for a while. Additionally, the whole time, you'd have to be letting them. All right. Um, you don't even need to upgrade these. It's just a waste of wood. So for right now, guys, only three more, huh? So we want to pitch our not good ones right those last three are going to be really useful everything else less so okay um from here guys we can actually can we get yeah let's take out one more so we want to reset our bedroll oh, i promised you guys too that i would gamma up just a little more 
And guys, you can see we already got to quality 80. From 1 to 80 in one day is not the best I've done, but that's still pretty good. Uh, let's see. Let's throw down another frame. Let's reset the bedroll, which is going to take up eight of our plant fibers. Um, this is very precautionary. Excuse me, guys. Oh, the talking dries the throat out, if you will. So this is very precautionary. It does take up, oh, 20 of the plant fibers. Yikes. Because keep in mind that that's just that much less stuff you can spam craft to use to raise your skills at night, which is what kind of what you want to be using the nighttime for. There is no wasting time, guys. There's no putzing around. You, uh, for your best chance of survival, always need to be doing something productive. There's just not enough time between your hordes. Boom. So from here, guys, you're pretty set. If you have a whole bunch of stuff, or if you're going to set up shop here, you can also throw a... Um, You can also throw a storage chest down against the wall, which is just a secure storage chest. We got enough wood. I can display this. Oh, there it was. Boom, right? And it's out of the way and nothing's going to take it down. Because remember, if your chest gets destroyed, you lose everything that's in it, I believe. Um... All right, so let's see how we're doing for food and water. Eh, we're low enough to worry about. And what's nice, too, is as we eat these piles of one, it's going to free up a slot and give us an empty can. Now, if we didn't have enough bottled water, like this is a crazy good amount of bottled water. In fact, guys, we could have picked some of the golden raw tea and made golden raw tea, so that's my mistake, guys. While you're out, do yourself a favor. Grab five or ten golden raw tea or uh, golden rod flowers because if you happen to have some bottled water, you can easily make the tea. Don't forget that if you have these empty cans, you can also fill them at any water source and then boil them and they become worthwhile. Same thing with the glass jar. Uh, let's see. How'd our food do? That one is not going to... Yeah, it won't be enough, right? And these have a saltiness to them, right? So minus five hydration. It is chilly. That makes sense, right? 89. We can do a little bit better, guys. Where is our... Did we already eat the lamb? Did I just eat it and <laughs> already forgot? All right. Uh, we don't need the sandwiches for now, which is nice because we're pretty full. We have the eggs. So the first thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to uh, clean this water, right? Oh, excuse me, guys. Drop that in there. And that's why that's so awesome because you don't make these without a forge. You find them or you build the forge, then you make them. And so that'll take care of this. And messing around with this will cause noise too, but you're kind of high up, so it's not the worst thing ever. Um, boiled egg. Bam. But then we wouldn't have anything to drink. And what do boiled eggs give you? Fullness to... Oh, nope. We want boiled egg. What does that do for us, guys? Oh, small bonus boost, which is awesome. Let's make one. So that was 10 seconds. Oh, we're going to make a few of them, apparently. Try not to let it run out if you can help it. But we're being really sparing with our wood here because I don't want to waste a bunch of it. Yum, 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 yum. Delicious. And apparently not enough of a wellness boost to give us another point of wellness, which increases our total stamina and hit cap. We're going to rehydrate. You don't want to let these get below 50. You want to try and keep them up so your wellness goes up. Because it happens rather slowly. All right. Let's see, guys. Oh, and then as I was drinking, uh, we get the glass jars back. So that's nice. So from here, guys, you, we have some choices to make. We can manufacture wooden clubs. We can manufacture bows. Air, bows are kind of wasteful. Arrows um, are another way to get weapon smithing up. Um, or tools. And I'm going to say tools for right now, right? So let's get our stone hatchets. Let's make all. And you notice we only have six arrows, but that's okay. Ah, oh, yes, the spam crafting, guys. And you can do other things, too, while this is being done. For example, if we wanted to hang out for a little bit, here's all the things that I know we don't need right now, right? And it frees up all this inventory. A lot of stuff, really.
Keep this on your hot bar. That can go up there. We can get rid of this. There we go, guys. We're at 100, in fact. We got to 102, guys. That will start to last a little bit. You can probably go a whole day on an orange tool. How are the arrows doing? Oh, an iron arrow. With a forge, you can actually make these, so that's not a problem. We're going to finish um, making the arrows. And what did that use up? The stones. All right, so this leaves us with a few different um, a few choices here. We can wait till the arrows get crafted, right? And that's you know, only a half minute or so. From there, we can make a bow, and the bow will almost certainly be considerably better. I bet you our next bow is like 60 quality, right? Which is a big jump when you think about it. So let's get that uh, queued up. But it is the three plant fiber, right? And the six wood, which means we have some other things to make as well. If this stuff ever hurries. Lastly, to help with the weapon smithing, what we can do is, excuse me guys, is we can, uh, wood, wooden club guys. 23, let's make 20. Save some wood. Oh, 75, right? Look at that, way better, right? And all of the axes, those burn not very well. If you've got two things that that are on fire and need the fuel, you can actively keep those both fed with axes, but you're going to be stone axes, but you're going to be hustling. But you're also not letting them go to waste. And on your first few nights, you might not have anything better to do, especially if you're spam crafting like this in your, in your inventory. Uh, these do even better because they burn for twice as long as the stone axes, right? Almost there. We'll go till we get to orange, which isn't a bad goal, right? Just keep in mind that you're going to be making more and more and more of these to get to your next levels. But at least we've got something now, right? And hopefully you console players also have an easy way to throw things in a box. All right, so yellow, yellow, excellent. What we can do now is we can go back to make our... Oh, can we? 24, half 30. That might work out just perfectly, guys. Leaves us with 6, right? Boom. So we'll get a pretty decent bow by the end of the night. And we'll have this. We'll have a stone axe. We'll have a wooden bow. And we'll have a melee capability... Where all of those tools, those weapons, are all in the orange. And for uh, for your first night, that's not bad at all. Again, guys, we got high, we got hidden. If you can't, if or if you don't happen to find um, a nice little house like this, you can even just build a platform, four blocks, a two-by-two two configuration, go up as many blocks as you feel comfortable doing it, upgrade the first four levels as much as you can, and then throw a ladder on one face of it, ladder all the way up, and build a platform out from there, guys. And if your platform is 3x3, three 4x4, three, four four, you're going to be set, guys. Especially if you throw some walls up on it, um, you're going to be good to go. So with the 18-hour daylight, um, and I can't recall if that's standard or not, that means the zombies will have stopped running by 0400, right? Um and at that point, you're safe to go outside if you feel comfortable. From here, to keep from breaking an ankle, uh, you can fall on the bed. I believe that uh, works. Or you can actually just yank this frame out, and you'll fall. And if you're kneeling, uh, it's kind of a bug right now. You won't take a whole bunch of damage. And guys, I think this is probably a great place to call this here. With the rest of your night, keep spam crafting. Read up on your skills. We haven't even touched on those guys. There's so much to talk about, but only one day to show you guys how to live through. Um... It was six points available. You can start dropping single points into here. Excuse me. Uh, some other of the better ones we're saving up for. Quality Joe right off the bat. Minor 69ers is a very powerful one. So is uh, the leather tanning. You're going to need that eventually anyways. Um, and then Quicker Crafter is my absolute favorite skill. The faster you're crafting stuff, the faster you're getting that sweet, sweet XP, the faster you are leveling. This uh, priority one above everything else in my book. A lot of people really like sexual transports too, but I think that's just because it's fun to say. Well, guys, I think we're going to call this episode here. If this helped you out, let me know. If you made it the whole way through, let me know. Uh, if you bought the game and you're playing on a console, let me know in the comment section below. Again, welcome to the community. I hope this video helped. If I can get 
enough likes and enough traction with this one. I would love to make a second video. Um, let me know if you guys would like one. I'd be happy to help you out. Uh, again, welcome to the community, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching more. Like, comment, share, and subscribe for more.